So one time I was at a job and um, they ordered catering uh, for lunch and it was a large group of people that day. So I guess they just didn't order enough food um, and we were short on food and there wasn't enough for everybody. So they decided that the women would be allowed to go and get food first and after the women were finished, then the men can eat. And they let women go twice so a woman could go fill up her plate and then go back a second time and fill up her plate again and then the men can eat. And of course the men barely ate because there was barely any food left. And it just occurred to me, nobody questioned it. Like nobody said this isn't fair, nobody said this, is, this isn't right, nobody said like, you know, no one said anything. And it's because we just accept sexism against men. Like sexism against men, we basically don't even talk about it. And I'm a men's rights activist, and that's a point that MRAs say a lot, is that so sexism against men, the reason why people think, oh, MRAs are just crazy because sexism against men doesn't exist, it's because it exists, but people don't even question it. They don't even notice it. Like, notice how men pay higher car insurance than women. And they say, oh, it's because men get in more car accidents, therefore it's fair. But imagine if it was any other thing. Imagine if it was race. Imagine, oh, black people get in more accidents, or Hispanic people, or white people get in more accidents. Nobody would think that was fair. Or people with green eyes get in more accidents, or people who wear hats get in more accidents. Nobody would say that was fair. That's crazy. That's discrimination. But when the sexism is against men, we just blindly accept it, and we see it everywhere. Men get less funding for health care. Even though more women than men go to college, there are more female scholarships than male, than male scholarships. Uh, throughout history, um, an 18, 19, 20, 21-year-old man being drafted and sent to die was the, was the norm. If you're king or you're emperor, whatever, starts some war, it's just the norm. You just accept, okay, you have to go to the army now and you have to fight. And if you die, then it doesn't matter, like whatever. And that's just been, and we just kind of like accept that. So part of the problem of ingrained societal misandry is the fact that people don't even notice it when it's happening. So people accept male sexism because it's so normal that they don't even really notice it. And it just feels right. And a lot of times MRAs, we get pushback, we get called misogynistic because discrimination against men, sexism against men, is so normal in people's minds that if you are against sexism against men, people perceive that to be sexism against women. Think about that for a second. Pay attention to your life around you. Pay attention to conversations at work and school, and you'll notice it happens every day.